Welcome to my channel again. In today's video, we will explore the Arjuna tree, terminally Arjuna, family Cambritaceae. This tree is recognized by many names across India. Arjuna, Arjun in Hindi, Arjun Gos in Bengali, Arjun Gos in Assamese, Holemoti in Kannada and several others. It is a unique medicinal plant widely known for its multiple healing properties, especially for its cardiovascular benefits. Often called the guardian of the heart, the Arjuna tree has been used in Ayurvedic medicine for centuries to treat heart diseases. Ancient Ayurvedic texts such as Charaka Samhita, Susuta Samhita, Ashtanga Hide, and Bhavaprakasha Nigantu all highlight its role in wound healing, fracture healing, blood purification, and heart protection. The ancient physician Bhagavat was the first to recommend Arjuna bark powder for heart ailments. In addition to its remarkable medicinal values, it also has cultural, ecological, and economic significance. Truly a boon of nature to mankind. Native to Indian subcontinent and Sri Lanka, it naturally occurs along rivers, streams, and dry water courses at low elevations. Fairly common across India, except in arid and heavy rainfall regions. It is a keystone species in riparian ecosystems supporting diverse flora and fauna. A majestic deciduous tree growing 20 to 30 meter tall with a trunk diameter up to 2.5 meter. It has an often buttressed trunk, typical smooth gray bark exfoliating in thin sheets to reveal a reddish brown inner layer. Its glossy green, oblong and conical leaves form a white canopy with drooping branches. Flowers are small, pale yellow and cup-shaped, blooming in cluster during the monsoon. Fruits are woody, five-winged and characteristic for identification. All these features add to its aesthetic value. Regarding its medicinal uses, Arjuna tree has been recognized by all medicinal fields like Ayurveda, homeopathy, modern medicine or functional medicine. Its active ingredients have been widely researched which support the effects of this herb on the body to cure a variety of ailments more importantly for cardiac health. Almost all parts of this tree have eternal pharmacological use due to presence of bioactive constituents like flavonoids, polyphenols, triterpenoids, tannin, glycosides and minerals like zinc, calcium, magnesium and copper. Arjuna tree has pharmacological activities like anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, cardioprotective, antimicrobial, anti-cancer, anti-diabetic, etc. Its astringent bark is considered to be the most important one from medicinal point of view. The bark is rich in triterpenoids like orjunanin, orjunic acid, flavonoids like orjunolon, camphorol, glycosides like orjunatin. Luteolin is another flavonoid that prevents cancer cell growth has been isolated from its bark and leaves. Researchers have reported ample clinical evidences of its beneficial effect in coronary artery disease, CAD, alone or with statin. Optimum dose reported to be 1 to 2 gram per day with minimum side effect. Its bark in powdered form is used to treat cardiovascular elements like CAD, angina, and hypertension. The bark is also used to treat dysentery, venereal, and urogenital diseases like UTI. Bark extract and bark S are useful to alleviate the pain of scorpion sting and snake bite. The bark is used as aphrodisiac cardiotonic to treat ulcer, fracture, diabetes, bronchitis, asthma, tumor, and skin disorders. It is also beneficial in treating migraine, gout problem, obesity, arthritis, nail bone diseases, bleeding gums, excessive bleeding from wounds in regulating menstrual cycle, in lowering bad cholesterol, LDL, 
and maintaining good cholesterol SDL and to treat fatty liver. In case of fractured bone, its bark is boiled with milk and is given to the patient to heal faster. A mixture of Arjuna bark paste and honey can be applied to face to treat pimples and acne. A musk is prepared using fresh Arjuna bark with wild turmeric powder in milk and applied to face to cure skin pigmentation. Its fresh leaf juice is used to treat earache while root paste is used in headaches. Regarding its side effects and precaution, a dose of 1 to 2 gram per day has been reported to be optimum in patient of CAD with fewer side effects like mild gastritis, headache and constipation. Generally, Arjuna bark powder is taken in milk. In some cases, it may cause skin allergy. Always better to consult doctors before using Arjuna products. Pregnant and breastfeeding women, persons with low blood pressure, bleeding disorders should avoid using Arjuna. As far as other uses are concerned, its wood is not so important. It has only local use for making curds, house building, agricultural implements and boats. Its leaves are food for tussar silk worms and fodder for cattle. Bark and fruits are used as tanning and dyeing materials. It is a useful plant in afforestation program for reclamation of saline and alkaline soils, sand dune stabilization, for erosion control along banks of rivers and tank bunds. Planted as ornamental tree, set tree in avenue and parks. It is ideal for planting in urban areas as it has high air pollution tolerance index and it improves air quality by intercepting particulate matters. It influences plant biodiversity in riparian landscape and provide essential shelter and food for mammals and birds. It is also associated with cultural rituals, ceremonies and traditional uses. Now regarding its propagation and cultivation. Arjuna tree requires subtropical and tropical climates with a mean annual rainfall of 750 to 1750 mm and mean temperature range of 20 to 33 degrees Celsius. Though it is a moderate shade bearer, it prefers open sunlight. It prefers neutral fertile soils, especially loose moist alluvial loamy soils and black cotton soils with good drainage. It tolerates water logging conditions. Ozuna originates naturally through seeds, suckers and coppices. In artificial method, it is also raised through nursery, raised seedlings or stump planting. Ear layering is also possible. For raising seedlings, ripe fruits are collected in April-May, dried in shed. Seeds can be stored in dry state for a year. Fresh seeds are used for better result. Before sowing seeds, seeds are soaked in cold water for 48 hours. Seeds are sown in nursery beds or directly in polybags in April-May. For avenue planting, bigger sized bags are used for obtaining tall seedlings. For better result, 10 to 12 months old seedlings with good height are planted. About 15 months old seedlings are used to prepare stumps which are again transplanted in polybags and maintained for some time before planting. Planting is done in July-August in well dug pits of required sizes about 60 cm cube or 75 cm cube at 6 m apart. For plantation, raised for tussar sericulture, a spacing of 1 meter by 2 meter is followed and is managed by repeated polarding. To each pit, 10 kg compost with NPK in the ratio 75 gram, 50 gram, 30 gram should be added at the time of planting. Weeding, watering during dry season and pruning are essential. Biopesticides like azadirectin should be sprayed to control insect damage. Regarding harvesting, usually harvesting of bark is done during winter from 10 to 15 years growth onwards to obtain quality products. Bark is also removed from branches of 30 years old trees. Only thick bark is removed from well-grown tree at 3 meter height from ground level. 
Vertical strips of about 5 cm width and 20 cm length are removed. For sustainable harvest, one fourth of the circumference of the main trunk should be removed and sufficient gap period should be given for next harvest. After harvest, bark is dried in well ventilated shed and stored in bags. Yield of dry bark per hectare per year is about 500 kg from 10th year onward. Planting cost is about rupees 50,000 per hectare and net return after 15 years reported to be about rupees 1.6 lakh to 1.75 lakhs. Selective trees above 150 cm GBH can also be harvested for timber. Orjuna is a good agroforestry species which can be intercropped with crops like coconut and citrus. Orjuna is included in National Medicinal Plants Board priority list with subsidies to encourage its cultivation. Now regarding threats and conservation. Habitat loss and unsustainable harvest practices are major threat to this species. Sustainable harvesting and conservation strategies are essential to preserve it. In Karnataka and Kerala, it has been assessed as near threatened and least concern for Tamil Nadu. I hope this discussion has helped you understand the immense importance of original tree for our health, culture, environment, ecology and economic benefits. Orjuna is also a promising tree that can adapt and survive under elevated atmospheric conditions occurring due to climate change. Let's protect it in the wild and promote its cultivation in other suitable areas. Thanks for watching.